Most middle-aged human beings wear their years with grace and good humor, but houses don't have to. A renovation in the hands of Nico van der Mulen makes an aging home look brand new, and the proof is all around me. These modern lines that have transformed the 60s exterior are a hallmark of Nico's work. A Lifetime Achievement Award winner for his architecture, he insists that his stylish designs must serve functionality above all. I'm glad you got the old plans of the house because this looked nothing like this before you got this your hands on it. The old entrance before we started, as you yeah. can see, this area is that area. But for the rest of it, it's still the footprint of the old house. And okay, we've got double story, we added the beams, contrasting the steel against the uh, concrete beams. Awesome, let's have a look at these pictures because you've got to get a real sense of what it used to look like. It's unbelievable how much change you've made. You've really stamped your, your touch, your Nico von der touches, the high double volume ceilings, the beams, the modern look, the lovely northern light coming in, which is quite a, quite a challenge as well. It's typically what we try to do is to get as much light into a house as possible. And uh, if that was just a wall, it would be so boring. So now you suddenly look through the house and you get that depth and layering which immediately makes architecture more interesting. Avid supporters of local artists, the owners wanted their entrance designed around this deconstructed Rachat van der Meulen sculpture. It casts magical shadows at night and lends a welcoming personal touch to the strong lines of the house. I see from the original structure that this was actually single story. So you've completely opened all of this up and you've added an entire new level. Yes, we took out the current lounge, dining room, kitchen and created this one big open plan space. We added the scullery at the back, the bar there, and this outdoor patio area. Nico, it's so important that once you've got this great structure to work with, you colour it in nicely and that's where the interior design is so important. Yes, Romy did a beautiful job here, creating the interiors and uh, it works very well with the structure we designed, so we were very happy with the work she's done. Without overcapitalizing with this renovation, project architect Chris Clark's work transformed the property. This light I'm going to need by sunglasses. <laughs> You've got the right idea. This is Chris. How's it, right? How's it, Chris? What are some of the challenges that come with working with an existing structure and then adding to that? Well, additions and alterations are always quite challenging because you have to build off of an existing footprint, but that, that forces you to think quite creatively to solve the issues that you have. What we tried to do is we incorporated double volume areas in the lounge and dining area, which brings that lovely north light into the house. On the northern area, we incorporated a pool. It was originally designed to be quite close to the house, but we decided to move the pool to be closer to the boundary wall so that we could fence it off with balustrading um, for safety for the children. There's also a fire pit in Burma, so the clients can entertain from that space as well. Well, thanks for the little tour, gentlemen. You've done a fantastic job, but we'll catch up with you later. Thank you. I'm going to go chat to the interior designer. Inside the modern, contemporary shell of steel beams, fast windows and transparent balustrades, Romy Kaplan has used neutrals, textures and natural materials to make this a home you can relax in. There's so much glass in this house, it feels like I'm going to walk into the next window or balustrade or something. Yeah, so Nico designed the house with all the glass, the light. So we kept this very, very clean and simple and just with the glass, just to let the light in and just to give a very open space. Okay, now you are responsible for the interiors. We were yeah. saying earlier how important it is to fill in like a beautiful structure. Yes. Where did you start and what was your brief? So with my client, she wanted a very modern, simple, clean look. Um, but still a home, so she wanted the warmth and she wanted the feeling that she loves to entertain. So she wanted this whole open living space, which is what we did. And it's always quite tricky working with these huge double volume spaces and filling them nicely, but you've done it with these lights, you've kind of divided the two spaces. Yeah, so what I've done here is we did a cluster of the lights that looked like pedals. We've done two sections, we have defined the dining area and the living area. And at different levels at as the well, different heights. Nice. So you can see it from here and when you go down, you can see it just hangs all the way down. Yeah. Brass, black and organic detailing add crisp style to an otherwise laid-back main bedroom. My client basically said to me that she wants a very, very calming room, but she wanted a hint of drama. So what we went with was bringing in the black. 
So we have like, if you look at the headboard and the ottoman and the chairs, it's all a plain cream linen fabric. And then we've just popped the black in with cushions and edging, trimming in the table, just to give a bit of drama in the room. I love what you've done with the oak on the walls. You've done it downstairs by the floating staircase as well. It's something quite different. Yeah, so I wanted to clear the walls in wood and it's got a lot of texture. If you look at the oak, it's got a lot of texture and it's a beautiful backdrop for the TV opposed to just leaving the wall with nothing. Well, it's also quite different to wallpaper. It's a lovely, cozy, warm feel you've created here. If it's too cold outside, you've got a fireplace to chill. If it's nice and warm and sunny, you go chill outside on the floating bench. The number one thing that my clients say that she has to have a swinging bench outside because she's always ch chilling there, reading. She just loves that. And the fireplace, we basically, what we've done with this is we've created a sitting area around here. And for them, like in winter, to sit here, read a book, have the fire, that's what they like to do. The main bathroom is a room in itself. And the way we've designed it is um, we've done floating stone vanities, so we haven't bought basins, we've done it as part of the stone. Her brief was she wants to sit in the bath, look outside, they've done the green hedging again to block off the view, so it's good for privacy. We also added a bench to the rooms, and we've done cladding on the walls with the stucco, um, which also creates something different opposed to tiles. There's a cosy sophistication to the dressing room while the timber-clad stairwell lends an organic Scandinavian feel to the sleek lifestyle spaces leading off it. The wall that you like so much upstairs, we've done it in the entrance just to create some warmth in the space. And behind here is the kids' playroom. So with the climbing walls and hanging nets, it's quite unbelievable. A little kids' dream playground, Dream, right? dream. <laughs> And here in this huge living area, you've managed to create at least four separate pockets of space. Yeah, so in this area is pretty much the entertainment space where that's what they love to do, that's their lifestyle. And my signature style is neutral tones and texture. So like in here, I've done all the scatter cushions, different textures with the stitching here and the contrast. The tan leather flows from the cushions to the love seats that I've done on the dining room, which creates a bit of interest in the dining room, not just usual chairs. And then this whole area opens up because they love to entertain. So they, they want to be inside and outside and have a whole living space. So the outside is an extension of the inside. And here, which was my client's that she had to have is big day bed couches. So we did oversized couches so they can lounge and sit comfortably and lie down and enjoy their outside living area. The outside dining area, the table's quite a feature. We've done a solid piece of wood with a glass inlay, which is quite different. And that goes into your bar area. And pretty much the area where everyone wants to be <laughs> is sure. the bar. Romy is especially proud of the bar table's texture and accessibility. In the kitchen, she's taken the pared-down approach further than most. I love what you've done with the bulkheads as well, creating all these different levels of space. Yes, yeah, so this bulkhead defines my island. And in this kitchen, I wanted to go quite dramatic with the dark colour and then bring in the nearer for the contrast, the lighter colour with the grey vein coming through, which is just a nice contrast against the dark charcoal. And we've used a lot of clever lighting, so at night, you'll see that the lighting here shines and lights up the nearer beautifully. Once dinner is served at the table, the cooking area becomes more of an elegant backdrop. I've designed the kitchen as part of the furniture. All the cooking is in the back, so this area stays clean and simple and it's an extension of the furniture. So it's actually, when you're looking at the space, it looks like a beautiful built-in cabinet. What was your favorite space in the house to work on? Definitely the study. First, it's the first feature that you look in when you're outside. She's a life coach, so we've done it very, very calming, all neutral tones in this room to create a very calming effect. The bookshelves have got all LED strip lighting. We have styled that the layering of this room for me is quite important. The wood cladding with the artwork on top of the paneling, all the ornaments has created a very uh, interesting space for her. And the best part is after a long day of work, it's just a short stroll to the bar. Yeah, that's <laughs> it. The bar was top of the wish list for the man of the house. And leading onto the fire pit and veranda, it's the hub for all the couples entertaining. <laughs> See, thank you, Nico. Thank you. And congrats, everyone, again. This is a perfect example of what happens when architecture and interior design just gel perfectly. 
Yeah, when you have a great space to work with, it's quite easy to do a beautiful interior. Yes, this one worked out very well. Romy did a beautiful job inside. Chris did a very nice job with the exterior. So the whole project looks good. Oh, I think it all came together quite well. <laughs> With this project as a benchmark, many of Nico's clients are rethinking what's possible on the existing footprint of their homes. Here's a cheeky one. If you had the budget for a cosmetic procedure or a home renovation, which one would you choose? Join the conversation on hashtag top billing and let us know. Coming up.